some years ago, many years ago, I was attending this church. We had a visiting pastor. So he said, as a word of prophecy, that between now, that was February, and the end of next month, March, four ladies in this church who, has, who have been seeking and praying for a husband will meet somebody and get married. That was his prophecy. He said four. We were six ladies in that church that were single and praying for a husband. Six of us. I immediately said, I'm going to be one of the four. I know we are six, but I am going to be one of the four. I did have a slight doubt because I thought, okay, between now and next month, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not engaged to be married. I'm single, completely, totally single. But then I dismissed it. I said, no, I'm holding on to that prophecy. I'm holding on to that word. I am going to be one of the four. Two ladies in this church are going to lose out, but it won't be me. So what did I do? I will wake up in the night. I will start praying. Oh Lord, that word has come, you know, from your servant. He has prophesied. I'm going to be one of the four. Lord Jesus, make this come to pass in my life. I'm going to be one of the four. I never gave up. I kept on praying. I kept on praying. If I'm walking down the street, I'll be praying, Lord, I'm one of the four. I'm not going to be one of those who's going to lose out. We're six. I'm going to be one of the four. I kept on praying. I kept on standing on that word. I held on tight to that prophecy. I was not going to give up. And I have told my story how I met and married my husband within a month. If you haven't watched that video, I will tag it to the end of this so you watch it. By March 31st, the following month, I had met and got married to my husband. The following month, without having met him at all, I got married. So when a prophecy comes, don't just sit down. Don't just relax. Don't just say, okay, it's come. It's going to be fulfilled. No. The Bible says faith without works is dead. When a prophecy comes, you also need to play your own part. Instead of sitting down there, when it doesn't come to pass and you say that prophet was false, he's a fake prophet. No, I'm not saying fake prophets don't exist. There are more than true prophets, many, many more. And they've infiltrated our churches. So we do have to pray for the spirit of discernment to know which one is a true prophet, which one is a fake one. But there are many within the body of Christ. So I'm not saying they don't exist. But instead of writing every prophecy off, instead of writing every prophet off, what part did you play towards it? Did you just sleep and say, okay, that's fine. The word has come and it, it shall come to pass. No, you have to work towards it. The Bible says in Matthew eleven twelve, 12, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. This is the new King James Version. The violent take it by force. In Nigerian pidgin, they will say, them take them giri giri. You have to take it giri giri by force. When any prophecy comes, you have to do your own part towards it. Don't just sit down and don't just say, okay, I'm waiting now for it to happen. No. Even when manna falls, from heaven for the Israelites in the wilderness. They didn't just stay inside their tents. They had to go out and pack it. So they had to play a part. God had rained the manna, yes, but it didn't rain into their pots, did it? It didn't rain into their cooking pots. It didn't rain straight into their mouths. They still had to go out to pack it, to pack it off. We have to play our parts because people will just sit there and say, Oh, you know, there's no uh, true prophet anymore. They're all fake. They're all dodgy. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. I don't believe that the gifts have ceased. I'm not a cessationist. I still believe that God still speaks today 
as he spoke in the days of old you may not believe it that's absolutely fine that's your opinion i do but when it comes you have to do something and not only did i keep on praying and praying i say i'm going to be one of the four when i was then uh, introduced to my husband <clears throat> and he was not living in the uk he was in africa i had to take that step of faith and get on a plane to go and meet him i still couldn't just sit down and say okay he's gonna come to me no it was much easier for me to go to him i got on the plane and i went to him we got married he came over here we are today so you have to take it by force take him giri giri the violence since the days of john the baptist the bible says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force take him giri giri so that's all i have to tell you this sunday morning god bless you thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell bye